Hi, my name is Jonathan and I'm here to talk to you about supporting students and partners through their university life. Across today's presentation, I'm going to cover a few key topics and points that you'll need to know for supporting students. Starting off, we have some key benefits of choosing a higher education pathway. Many people report much higher levels of self-esteem and self-discipline if they go through a university pathway. And many people experience a much happier and healthier lifestyle as being a part of a higher education provider. Fun fact, did you know that students that have studied in a higher education degree actually smoke less? I know, crazy, right? People that study a degree tend to find greater job satisfaction, greater financial stability, and generally find an enhanced experience pursuing their career passion. That's why at Flinders University, we try and encourage people to make the best choice they can based on what their career and passion is, not necessarily what they feel like the best choice right now is. Flinders University is one of the fastest growing universities in South Australia. We will have campuses in Bedford Park, Tonsley and Victoria Square. We also have some on-campus accommodation and we've recently remade the Student Hub. We have approximately 25,000 students on campus, so there's plenty of space for everyone. Why study at Flinders University? Flinders University boasts really high employment rates for all of our courses. Our campus itself is quite serene and quite nice to look at. It's also safe and very secure. The courses that we have here at Flinders University are constantly updated to make sure that everything that you are learning is relevant to today's needs and standards. All of our teachers are researchers that will constantly put topics and course information back into our courses to make sure everything is up to date as possible. When entering Flinders University, there's quite a variety of options to choose from in terms of how to enter and what kind of pathway you're going to choose. There's a separate presentation on pathways that you may be interested in listening to after this presentation. When transitioning to university, please keep in mind that there are a few things that will change in people's lifestyles that you may need to keep into consideration. There's a few things that you can do to help support your loved ones through the process into university. Helping them support new routines may be quite beneficial. Helping them probe time to study maybe help set aside some time to say, hey, this is your time to shine. You may find that dinner might be pushed back a little bit potentially. You may want to participate in more sporting events at the university itself. The best thing to do within the first year is to be realistic. Within their first year, they're going through many different choices, challenges and changes that may impact their decisions or time that they can spend with you. This is quite different to what they may have expected or have gone through at school. There's a little bit more time to themselves, but there's also a lot more time to focus on studying in their own time. We feel like the key to studying successfully at a university is to understand some university jargon and please please encourage them to check their email accounts. We send a lot of vital information to them via email and they'll probably need to check it very frequently. Most importantly, make sure to get into a routine. Going to university full-time is very much like working full-time. It will require a bit of dedication, some self-discipline and a lot of time management. Please keep this in mind. If you're a parent, the best thing to do for your child or student is to help create a safe, quiet study space at home to study at. Help identify busy times during the year. This may actually help you yourself personally, but also help the student understand what's coming up ahead and try to show interest in what they're learning. You'll find that a lot of people tend to extrapolate their ideas better when they're bouncing ideas off themselves. For someone looking to study at university, applications open early August. Your change of preference deadline is now the start of January and offers will be released until semester starts. How much does university cost? The big question. If you're an Australian citizen, you have the option to defer your payment into a hex debt. Your hex debt works very similar to how tax works. Once you start earning approximately over $45,000, you'll have to pay back your hex student loan just the same way you do as tax. It comes out of your regular salary payslip, you won't even know what's there. There's also a wide range of scholarship opportunities available as well. We encourage people to apply for them. Many of them actually don't get used each year. For more information about fees and scholarships, there's another presentation you can have a look at, or you can head to our website. Some other costs may include parking. There is a yearly permit that you can actually apply for and pay for. It's about $303 per year. Additionally, there's also some textbooks, photocopying fees, hard copies, uniforms, and field trips that you will have to pay as part of your course, depending on the course that you choose. Depending on the degree studied, annually, you'll be paying between six dollars to $11,000 per year. If you have any further questions, please ask any of the team members here at Flinders University, and we hope to see you soon.